which we got promoted. We had a couple of good consolidation seasons, as they say, better than that actually in the first division. But then we came to the 78, 79, which you know, lots of people remember very fondly. I suppose in some ways was was your kind of swan song as well that season. Yeah, yeah, it, it was. Yeah, I was coming to the end of my uh, my career, and it was a uh, a team that had, you know, I think kind of John had had brought it together initially, and, and big then big Ron took over and uh, he, he, he brought one or two in and uh, it was a fantastic team that really was it he came to very it came together a little bit quickly it, it, it disbanded too early you know for different reasons different players left uh, for certain reasons you know Len left Pop Pop went uh, I was at the end of my career uh, but for that spell, while it was together, they, I mean, it was fancy. That that season you're on about, we, we, we were, you know, anywhere we went, we knew we would win. If we didn't win, didn't matter where we went, Old Trafford, Stamford Bridge. If we didn't win, we were all disappointed. We expected to win every game. That's how that that. And it was full of world class players, you know, the the keeper, the back four, the mid, everything about it was, was top class. And uh, unfortunately, I'd have liked it to have played together, like the '68 side, for a, for a long, for a number of years, you know. And I speak, I speak to Big Ron now, and he, you know, he says if he if he had that team now, he'd have no problem winning trophies. Uh, and that's how good it was. It, it, it was so entertaining, pace, power about the the team. It was goals for fun. It was it was a great time again to to play football and, and Big Ron had taken over from John. John was, like I said, was like to pass in possession game. Big Ron kind of wanted it to be a little bit quicker, get it up to the front men a little bit quicker and, and, um, and it, you know, f for both managers it, it, it was a good side and, but for that, for that one season it was, oh, it, it was a delight to play in it, absolutely fantastic. And you scored an absolute wagon load of goals that season. Yeah, unfortunately I did. Yeah, I, I think it was, I think it was 18. I, I scored that season uh, from midfield again, and uh, but I had so many great players around me, Dave. You know, say world class players. You know, it, uh, Tony Godney goal, good keeper, and little lad Derek, what a player he was, Derek Stade and Brendan uh, Wiley, Ali Rob, got a back four together. Fantastic! They were the foundation of the of the, of the side, you know. And then, uh, you know, we had goals up front in midfield. It was couldn't go wrong. It was, you know, the most entertaining team that you could imagine, though, wasn't it? I mean, you think of Derek Stiden for starters, left back, and he played he played like Willie Johnston. That's right. Going forward, brilliant. Played like a winger when he got in in the opponent's half, you know, crosses and. But could defend as well. The other end, you know, he's he wasn't just a you know like a you know, a, a luxury kind. He was he was brilliant defender, and some of the things he would do defensively, he was, he was just full of quality. And that run throughout the side, big Cyril up front, Laurie, you had Willie Johnson that time, big Ali, big Ali Brown, did running the channels, doing the workhorse, you know, all fitted together. To make a, to make a team, every you know different characters doing different things, but come together as as a unit, and that's that's how you get success. You know, it's all about being together in the unit. It's not about individuals, but we had we did have eleven brilliant individuals playing in, in one unit, and it was it was fantastic. You mentioned earlier the the sixty six League Cup final and the fantastic atmosphere. I guess the Valencia game was was not dissimilar to that. I mean, that was an amazing night. Yeah, like I said, the West Ham game, fantastic atmosphere, cut it with a knife, that, it, brilliant. Valencia that evening was, was exactly the same. We'd, we'd gone to Valencia, got a draw, come back here. They were the big favourites to, to win the trophy. They were, you know, uh, they were going to win it. Everybody had predicted they were going to win it and they came here and we turned them over. It was, it was on the night again, we turned it on, 1-2-0 and I was say so lucky enough to score both the goals, got a penalty and, uh, and uh, another one of me, probably my better goals uh, that I scored, a, uh, a volley from across from Laurie Cunningham from just outside the edge of the box and 
one two nil and thoroughly deserved turned them over the great Valencia Kempes Bonoff in their team and that, that night oh, it was just just brilliant to be on that pitch it was a it was a great goal that do well to build a statue out of that yeah it's uh, yeah I'm really you know it's been taken back when the chairman you know um, called me in and said I think it's been two years ago now I think it was when uh, he first called me in and said he was going to do it and uh, I was, you know, really dumbfounded. What a gr what a great honour, and uh, it is. It's uh, I'm humbled by it, really, because we go to, you know, to to away games, and you see statues of, of players at other clubs, and uh, to know that there's going to be one outside of you, it's uh, it's actually a, a funny feeling, really. But it's great of the you know of the club to. Uh, to do this in appreciation of you know what, what the service I give to the club. Tony Brown, I can honestly say it was a pleasure to watch you play and a privilege to know you. Thank you very much. It was it was just a delight, to, a dream to play with so many so many world class players, and I'm not saying that just lightly. And they were you know world class players. It still feels like home to me every time I come in. I, you know, memories keep flooding back. You know when we play in certain teams. You know, memories from when I've played against those teams years ago come back. You know, nearly all the records at the club, uh, you know, and something I'm very proud of. Um, and as I say, that's something I can look back on with my career and, and, and just, but what I did, I enjoyed every, every minute of it. Uh, 20, oh, there was the bad times, you know, the relegate, and, and, and bad times, good times, but I wouldn't change it for anything. It was, it was just a, a joy and, and it was a labour of love, really, to come and to play football for a living. Great. <laughs>